Hey everyone, welcome to yet another video by W2 Productions. And today we are going to be learning how to make this uh, cool rectangle on animation or uh, this rectangle stroke animation as you can see over here. So this will be fairly simple and I'm going to teach you how to animate these uh, strokes over here so you can make some cool animations as well. So let's get straight to the video. So guys, first and foremost, I'm going to have this uh, composition over here. This is a 1920 by 1080 pixel composition, but you can go with anything that you like. So first of all, uh, I'm just going to go right click over here. Select new and select a shape layer. For the shape layer, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a rectangle over here. And uh, once you have drawn this rectangle, then you need to hold alt over here and then click until you receive this uh, icon over here, which is uh, a zero to the fill. And for this stroke, we're going to have it as 12 points. And for this color, let's just go ahead and change the color. Select OK. So once you are happy with this, then you can just go ahead and add your trim paths over here. So when you uh, just uh, click this button over here, you will see a drop down. And for this, we will add trim paths. So this is going to be the trim path method which is going to animate our strokes over here. Uh, so let's see if this offset is zero and let's just go ahead and change this to 100 as well. And at one second, we will just go ahead and hit both of these stopwatches. Then after one second, we are going to just move this uh, ticker over here and then we are going to just bring this uh, end offset and to the zero, just like this. Now what we are going to do is we are going to delay for a, uh, we are going to have a delay, small delay over here, and then we are just going to hit this button over here to add another keyframe for this start right over here. So just so we can have a small delay. Then after two seconds, uh, then just go ahead and uh, up to three seconds or maybe less than three seconds. And then let's just go ahead and make this start as zero so if you see this animation over here then i'm just going to end it over here by pressing n this is going to end my composition over here so if you just uh, go ahead and see this then you will see that this is going to animate like this so we have this stroke coming over here then we have a small delay and then we can uh, have this stroke going to zero once again so if you want a larger delay, then uh, you can just go ahead and move this uh, over here. And then you will see that we will have a larger delay before the stroke moves to zero once again. So this is fine for now. And so the next thing that I will do is I'm just going to go ahead and drop uh, a CC force motion blur on this stroke layer in the effects and presets. So once you have this stroke CC force motion blur, you can just go ahead and drop this on your shape layer. So we will change a few things over here. Uh, one of them is the shutter angle which will be 300 so once you look closely then you will see that let me turn this off then you will see that this stroke is now uh, moving from um, this stroke now has a blur point over here so previously if i just go ahead and shut this off then you can see that this is uh, just moving like a closed line which is uh, which is looking a bit haphazard over here so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, once we add this uh, CC force motion blur, then we will see a smoother animation just like this. So now that we have this done, we are just going to go ahead and select all of these keyframes and select F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Or if your F9 key is drinking tea in the kitchen, you can just right click and select easy ease them. So now I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this layer by selecting control D. We have this layer duplicated now and I'm just going to go ahead and Select this drop down. First of all, selecting the keyframes by pressing U on our keyboard. Then go ahead and select this drop down. And in contents, you will find this trim paths. I'm just going to go ahead and change this offset value to 180. So this is going to reverse our animation and we will have both of these strokes just like this. So you can see that this is a really nice animation over here. So basically, you can just combine this animation with uh, uh, some text or some images or pictures or if you have a border uh, if you have a video you can add this as a border so there you have it 
So if you like this video, then please be sure to leave a like and comment below if you found this uh, tutorial helpful or if you learned new things. And please subscribe to this channel as it really helps. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video inshallah.